What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Super Mario 3D World. In the last part we have finished World 3, made up to World 4, and this is 4-1 and Trooper Hill. Anyway, so um, we're just going to stick with Luigi. There's going to be a later point we're going to need to use Toad, but uh, we got the Mario and Peach exclusive stages out of the way, but anyway, if we actually get out of here, I think that you can get a power up. You actually claw his enemies, as well as a jump on them, but you can claw on them if you have the cat suit. I already have the cat suit, but I think there's a, uh, I think there's something up here. Yeah, it's just a bunch of coins. I do love the music here also. This game does have an underrated soundtrack for a Mario game. Anyway, so how you're actually supposed to do it is, uh... Get up on the jump up. Yeah, I'm supposed to jump on these like uh, bounces, like bouncy things. Anyways, so how have you guys been doing? I apologize for no video on uh, Tuesday because uh, I'm actually recording this in the gap of videos ago. Like, I recorded a batch of five videos last week and uh, I ran out of videos to post, so I'm, I'm kind of scrambling to find new videos to record. Anyway, so you want to get a you, you need a cat suit for this. That's why you want to hold on to the cat suit. And also, if you go here, there's a star. Yeah, we we got one, we got a one up, but uh, not something I'd really like. Apparently, you can't one up combo with stars in this game. You can in, in most 2D Mario's, but um. I think it started with Mario World, but I don't know. Yeah. Wait, that's the that's the second uh, green star. Like I said, I do two practice playthroughs of this. I'm actually doing a second practice playthrough of the uh, next playthrough I have. I'm not revealing exactly what it is yet. Or I want to say we're about. Uh, around half, around the halfway point, done with the normal game. We actually uh, got the third green star. Here, we made it to that platform. Now let's just let's just get out the cat suit. The cat suit guarantees we top the flagpoles. We don't have to do this level again. My dog is barking. Yay. Sometimes I have that. Sometimes when you have, like, pets and you're trying to record, like, sometimes they can be, like, naughty. Like, uh, sometimes they can, like, start shit while you're recording. Like, it's not too much of a deal because I have very low in the mixing. I'll just remove it in the editing. But, hey, there's a... There's a slot machine. So let's try to get 777 points this time. Alright, we're gonna do this. Alright, boomerang. So it's, um... Dr. Tanuki... All right. Oh, I did it too late. Like I said, this is easier in co-op mode because you, you and your pro your partners can just hit it at the same time. Now, interestingly enough, if you go in this pipe right here, it doesn't lead to a stage; it just leads to this. Which gives you a better view of the world. Anyway, so this is 4 2 Chronic. This is 4 2 Chronic Creeper Creek. We're gonna stick with Luigi. And some stages where I'm like normally required to use other characters, I would say I use Luigi for a good majority of this game. And so, how you basically uh, kill these Chronic plants right here is that you kinda like, um, you kinda make them go to its edge. Or you can just avoid them. Now, um, I want to say, um... Okay, if you want to go up here, this will lead to the first star coin. And you want to jump, 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 and just wait for the, just wait for it to run out. Yeah. 
There's already the checkpoint. Now I want to. Now you want to actually uh, go under here because there's the second green star. Look, I would say I normally avoid playing games like this as recent as 2013, but at the same time, this game has been out for 10 years now, so I've had chances to. I've had multiple chances to play this. Where if I were playing like Mario Wonder, which I've only 100% once, I'd probably be lost. Yeah, that's the stamp right there. Hey, star. I don't know. Let's try to get a one up. Well, I'll make getting the third green star easier. You're only supposed to avoid the piranha plants, but I actually lucked out. on the cat suits that guarantees I top the flagpole. There's nothing worse than like beating a ridiculously hard state you only realize you didn't top the flagpole. I don't think I would top the flagpole and not into the front the cat suit. Anyway, so this uh, stage, uh, 4A, is mad easy if you have the cat suit. Switch to Toad. He can attack faster, so let's just uh, do it for the stage only. Expect this LP, this playthrough to take me too many parts. I'd say it take it'll take less parts. Believe it or not, a Super Nintendo game is probably gonna take more parts than a Wii U game <laughs> that came nearly 20 years later. But um, let's go to the uh, let's go to the Toad House. Let's get to Nuki. Alrighty, so um. What we're gonna do now is, uh, 4-3, um... Oh, we're actually using Toad for this level. He's not the best jumper, but there's a reason I'm using him for this level. Yes, yeah, so this is basically- these are basically a timed platform. Oh, by the way, look what happened- look what happened when we hit Terry. Multiple nine. I really love what Toad says when he says when he hits the, uh, Cherry. And he does it again. You want to keep the cherries for as long as possible because, um, this, I want to say this is, okay, that's not a green star. I might be thinking of another level. That's the first green star. And we're out of there. Now you want to avoid the Boomerang Brothers. Get the Multiply. I just said get the Multiply because that's what Toad says. I just think it's cute when Toad says Multiply. Tanuki and Catsuit makes the stage a lot easier. Now what did I have for this level is, um... One did I have for this level is, um... Get this stamp first, then get the then get the checkpoint. Because if you die in this level, you go back to the checkpoint, and um, basically, you'll if you get the stamp first, you don't have to get it again. Yeah. 
Okay, so we want to go down this pipe. And this will lead to a coin surge. By the way, the more toads we have, the easier this will be. And, um, get all the coins! Now, make sure you don't lose any toads, because we want to go down the slide. We want to time this right. This is easy if you have a Tanuki, just, um, pull up when it's about to turn. Like this. You kind of want to take it slow. Take it as slow as possible, because you want to be able to get that right here. Alright, we want, we want to position ourselves so we can take out these Boomerang Brothers. Right, here we go. Here we go. We lost one of them, but we topped the flagpole. Now we only have a few more levels left in uh, World 4, so I think World 4 will be a one-parter. We have to do 4-4 four, four and uh, Big Bounce, Big Bounce Bad Way. Let's switch to Luigi, by the way. I think we're gonna get a one-up, yes, we're gonna get a one-up with coins. Fantastic. We already have 58 lives, and uh, this is World 4, so um, I'd say this game hands 1-ups like candy, but maybe not as much as 3D Land does. Because 3D Land, you get a 1-up every time you top the flagpole. I don't think I want the flower. Here we go, well, let's see. One of these is gonna turn into a, um, yeah, this one's gonna turn into a spring. I just love this music. I love pretty much all of the music in this game. Much like the last playthrough, whoever did this uh, soundtrack should have gotten a raise. It was probably Koji Kondo that did this soundtrack, so, uh, yeah, no wonders. Hold on, I wanna, um, I wanna use the Tanuki really quickly. I'm trying to remember how to get up on that platform, I think, um, because that's how you get the second green star. So, yeah. There's, you, I think you probably have to carry this, the thing from earlier, but, um... And this will lead to the third one. Wait, that's all three. That's all three green stars, and uh, the stamp will be shortly afterwards. Nope. We're not gonna get our hopes up. We're not gonna get a one up with this with this auto stroll lane. Here we go, here we go, all right, here we go. And we're gonna put this, um, that's too close. And that's a top flagpole. So 
we only have two more stages left in World 4, plus a, uh... What am I trying to say? Plus a, uh... Plus a, a bonus stage. And this is, um, this is 4 dash cube Mystery House Mad Dash. Much like the last one, I would recommend hitting, uh, picking Luigi for this. The last one I recommend picking Toad. I think this one I recommend picking Luigi. In this one, we have to collect, uh, 10 stamps. 10 stars, not 10 stamps. Yeah, the more you do these stages, the higher it's gonna get up. Here we go, here we go, yes! I'm gonna avoid the bonsai bill! Be a little careful in this section, don't fall off the platform because you'll have to go back and get some addition. If you fail at any star you have to do this all over again. And it'll get more annoying the more stars you have to collect in a stage. Alright, here we go. Alright, boy, the Goombas. Two more to go. Much like this one, avoid the, uh, this time you have to avoid both bullet bills in the, um, pit. One more, one more. And that is it. I say as I miss the star. Now we've surpassed, um, we've surpassed, uh, 100 stamp stars, and that's that, we're actually a third of the way through the whole, through 100% in this. I'd say we're halfway through the normal game, and, uh, a third of the way through 100%. Anyway, if we have to, we also have to go here. Or B, Fire Brothers Hideout. We're gonna stick with Luigi. And also, there's a time limit. Well, every stage has a time limit, but this has a 100 second time limit. We need this in 10 seconds. 11 seconds. And this will lead to a stamp pile, so make sure you go down this pipe. And the last stage in our world four is four five um Spike's Lost City. Where's that circle, Luigi? I think this is one of the stages also where a cat suit is beneficial. I think we're also gonna get a cat suit in this level. And we get to hear more awesome music. I swear to god, Koji Kondo is so freaking talented. Believe it or not, um, I think it was last year, but, uh, the, uh, Super Mario Brothers theme ended up in the, uh, Library of Congress of, like, being, like, um, one of those recordings of, like, um, of, like, um, culturally, uh, really significant, and, like, the same library has the I Have a Dream speech, and, uh, and also Stairway to Heaven, I think, it has a lot of iconic stuff.
Anyway, so, um, now, um, make sure you also have a cat suit before you touch the, uh, the checkpoint. And don't lose it. Actually, I'm thinking of an entirely different level. Okay, I know there's, um... Am I doing this right? Wait, I know, I know what I'm doing now. I know what I'm doing. I say that as I almost lose the cat suit. Well, if we get this red coin, so I'll get another cat suit. Yeah, we get a, we get a spare cat suit in our inventory, but uh, this is where the uh, this is where the second um, star is. I think I'm an entirely different level you need the cat suit for, but uh, we're gonna get to that level eventually. Anyway, that is, um, I almost missed the green star, but that is the third green star. Oh yeah. Now, the cat suit also guarantees we top the flagpole and we just kill this asshole. I wouldn't have topped the flagpole without the cat suit, so thank God for that. So the last stage in World 4 is uh we need 50 green stars for. Which we have more than enough. And uh it's four castle lava rock lair. Make sure you also have a cat suit, by the way. You should have a cat suit from the previous level. Oh, I love this music, by the way. This is the last bit of great music in this game. Super Mario 3D World in general is a very underrated Mario game. Like, this isn't really like, um... I'd say this is Mario 64, really, a Mario Galaxy, but it's a solid 3D Mario game. We get another cat suit. We already had a cat suit in our inventory. <laughs> which, the cat suit, which we almost lost. Now you want to also go up this right here because I think it's the stamp that's up here. Yeah, it is. And we want to go in. We want to go in that purple uh, box right there. Yeah. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> I'm referencing a Spongebob episode that they don't even friggin' air anymore because, um, I'm referencing the, uh, pan the, <laughs> the episode with Mr. Krabs' midlife crisis and it ends with, uh, them going to Mr. Krabs' mother's house and, and raiding her pant her dresses and, like, they don't even air that episode anymore, believe it or not. Probably because a lot of he a lot of stuff you can make 20 years ago you can't really make today. Anyway, this is the boss, and, um, we want to use these rocks to, um, hit- We want to hit the rocks with rocks, but, um, there's another instance where you're gonna need the cat suit, or a cat suit would be beneficial. You don't need the cat suit, but it's just the cat and the cat suit's just a necessity. Yeah, don't do that. Don't hit. Don't throw rocks when he's spinning. But um, after a certain amount of time, the rocks will break free. But that's the final hit, and we're also gonna equip the cat suit to guarantee we hit the flagpole or we top the flagpole. 
Not quite the one-up, though. We are, we're actually we're actually hit the 60 lives milestone. So that has been this part of Super Mario 3D World, so, um, next time on Super Mario 3D World... We're gonna attack a World 5. See you guys then.